Yo, what's up guys? It's t back and today we have a little bit of a different video. I'm gonna do a post-editing commentary. So this is not a live commentary, but I did record this video because, first of all, I gotta win, and that's very special. But I also saw similar videos from Jack Frax and Westy, and I actually really enjoy them because that gives me the opportunity to kind of explain what goes on in my very noob mind when playing this game. Because, as you all know, I'm one of the worst Warzone players to ever exist in human history. I'm really trash at this game, but I actually managed to get a win with some decent kills and this game is fully packed with action and I really enjoy this game. So I wanted to do this post commentary thing video and I hope you guys enjoy this. So if you do, please drop a like, let me know what you think of it. First of all, I want to say that I play in Resurgence, which is out of the rotation, sadly. And I'm playing with absolute random people, never met these guys before, we're not on comms. But the first thing you'll notice is that they actually, um, they actually mark the enemies. So, you know, without comms, that's very important to know where the fight is gonna be and stuff like that. So first things first, they mark this enemy team right here. I jumped down, I don't know what I expected. I almost got beamed instantly. Uh, I broke this guy's armor, got beamed from the left. Again, don't really know what to do, but then I get managed to kill this guy, or at least the down, and then look what happens. I got killed, seemingly out of nowhere. Of course, I'm gonna get finished here. And you'll see in the kill cam what just happened. This is just, I wanna say classic T-Bag BS, but no, this is just classic console BS. Because the field of view on console is so bad. This is in slow motion. You can see I'm getting killed right outside of my screen, just, just outside. And I got killed from the same place I downed the guy, so that's so stupid. Anyway, I respawn, go towards my crate, and I picked up the Grau, I think, and the HDR. And another guy just, you know, parachuted in. Very easy kill. At least I think it was an easy kill. No, it wasn't an easy kill. Of course it's not an easy kill. I didn't even down the guy. My teammate did. But anyway, a kill is a kill. So we are still um, fighting the same team, I believe, because you can respawn indefinitely in this game mode as long as your team is still alive. So I really like this game mode. We got another firefight here. Killed one guy, or at least downed one guy. Don't know how I survived this. And this this is pretty clutch. I waited for him to revive himself, so he was one-shotted, and I can down him again with the HDR, because I think this is the only weapon that I have with bullets. Luckily, he was also one-shot. Finish him off. In my opinion, pretty nice play. He died as well, and now we can see where the final player is on the minimap, which is really important, because if you kill all three, then, you know, they're finished. There's no gulag in this game mode, which I really... I like Resurgence, man. I don't know why they took it out of the rotation. Anyway, I'm trying to snipe, and I see this guy. Completely misses the first shot. Completely misses the second shot. Because I am me. I'm the worst sniper in human history. Let's see if we can get... Well, he stood completely still, so that doesn't really count. Anyway, we got it down on him. But, yeah, I mean, look at these shots, man. This is kind of embarrassing. This is, by the way, the HDR that I used for the... Uh, armor piercing loadout video that I did a couple of days ago. If you haven't watched it yet, be sure to do so. This is the longest barrel and the mono suppressor, basically. And here I thought I was being very sneaky by hiding in a bush, but of course I got headshotted instantly because I forgot that you still have a sniper scope glint. So that was honestly my mistake. Pretty sure this is the last time I get down here. Anyway, this guy revived me. Thank you very much. I don't have armor plates, so that's okay, I just jump straight in. There's still a team here, but I think there are two or three teams in this area right here. My teammate actually kills him with the Odin, which is a really interesting weapon of choice, but hey, if it works for you, it works for you. I know there's a guy somewhere there. Yeah, as you can see, my teammate got obliterated. And then again, the guy with the Odin, uh, he, he killed him, so nice job to that, trying to revive him. And of course, I'm getting sniped by someone over at the hill. I think their loadout actually dropped somewhere over there, so it's no surprise he got a sniper rifle. Again, these are the same one or two teams every single time, because, like I said, you can respawn as long as your teammates are still alive. So that's that's why I like this uh, game mode, and that's why I have so many kills in this game. You will see. Eyes on shooter. So there's a guy right here somewhere. Got actually pretty lucky here that I downed the guy because the Grau is an amazing gun, but from up close, it's not the most competitive gun out there, so I got lucky. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, I was very scared of the guy uphill and I wanted to grab the armor plate because I know there's still a guy up there and he actually just got marked by my teammates. 
like I said, these teammates actually know what they're doing because nine times out of ten when I'm playing with randoms, they are completely brain dead. In this case, as you can see, they can actually kill people, so I, I really like that. Then I make quick work of this guy with the growl because the growl is still amazing in my opinion. I don't know why nobody really uses it anymore. It's still one of the best medium to long range uh, assault rifles, at least in my opinion. Anyway, that's the last guy from the enemy team, so we have to kill him right now. I don't think he expected me to push to the left here. That gave me a clear opportunity to kill him. And as I was about to kill him, I'm pretty sure that his teammate respawned back in. So this next guy is actually definitely the last guy on the enemy team. So I have to kill him right here. And I think I actually did. Just like that. And there, as you can see, team wipe. So that's really, really good. And I think we already... Yeah, we have seven kills already. And this is still at the start of the game. And this is why I love Resurgence so much. Because it's so much, it's so action-packed, you know, I really like it. We, uh, there was a fire cell, so we bought an advanced UAV. And there was actually a guy very near us. That I decided to, uh, push actually, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what we do here. Yeah, he's right there, getting marked again. Thank you, teammates. And I actually get it down with the HDR. But I'm also pretty indecisive here, because I actually wanted to finish him off. But as you can see on the minimap, there are uh, a couple of enemies very close by, so I didn't know where to go, and apparently the sky was too crowded, so I couldn't call in my airstrike anyways. So then I look at the minimap, and I notice that this truck is coming towards me, and I'm telling you, this always happens. I completely panic, like I lose all rational thoughts, and like I don't know how to strategize or play tactical, so I just rush in, and I have no idea what to expect, so... <laughs> So this driver, he hopped out and he completely destroyed me, you know, fair play, I guess. So I respawned back in and I noticed that my teammates actually took care of those guys in the truck. So that's really, really good. And like I said, it looks like they actually do know what they're doing. Anyway, I pick up my stuff and I see that I actually have 24 rounds left in the magazine. And that's going to be a little bit of a problem in the next engagement. And looking back on it, I should have probably taken this time to regroup with my teammates. But instead I'm doing some sightseeing for some reason and now the actual firefight starts and like always I'm a little bit late to the party. So after dealing with this next guy I'm pretty much left with zero ammo in my primary so I have to rely on my sniper skills and you guys know that's not gonna be <laughs> it's how can you miss these shots it's unbelievable so I'm looking for a different weapon I want to pick up this AUG but instead I pick up this pistol I mean, it still works, so I'm glad either way. Come on, bro, I'm safe. This guy needs to be a bit more patient. I was literally just shooting a guy like a second ago. Anyway, I wanted to ask you guys something. I'm sure most of you have seen the new trailers on some of the new games that are coming out very, very soon. And in particular, I'm talking about Far Cry 6 and Dying Light 2. Now, I've been thinking for a while now to play some other games on the channel. And I wanted to know what you guys think. You know, whether it be just simple campaign walkthrough videos or meme videos or anything really, let me know down below if you guys want to see that on this channel. I know that Battlefield 6 or the next Battlefield game, whatever it's going to be called, is coming out very soon as well. And don't worry, I'm going to be focused on that 100%. But perhaps, you know, in the near future, it would be cool to make videos on games beside Warzone and Battlefield. So let me know down below what your thoughts are. And now we're actually going towards the end game. As you can see on the minimap, this is a very small circle for 17 people alive. And my team just spotted the guy over there, so we killed him. Nice job. Only 15 people alive now. Only 14 people alive now. So it's going really quick now. This is one of the final circles of this game. And like I said before, this is one of the reasons why I like Resurgence so much. It's because there is so much action right from the get-go. And I think I miss... Yep, I miss another sniper shot. What a surprise. My team is actually... Uh, I mentioned this earlier... If they didn't mark as many enemies as they did in this match, I don't think I would have won this game at all. Like, these teammates were actually, even though they were random, they were really, really good. I actually... Yeah, I actually managed to down him with a headshot, I think, which is... Look, in slow motion, it's kind of unfair. I think he just popped his head up again right when I took the shot, so that's kind of unfortunate for him, but good for me. Then we have this annoying Rose skin that I did hit two times 
but I couldn't get a, a third shot off and he's not dead. So I know he's there, I'm trying to push him a little bit. One of our teammates is actually dead, I just noticed that. And now we're kind of sandwiched. I know there's two people over there. As you can hear behind me, my teammate actually died to one of theirs. Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm sandwiched here. So it's now me against these two guys and of course there are still other people left on the map. So, I don't really know what I decided to do here. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm cutting back. He threw a stun grenade, but it didn't really do anything. But now I know, especially with the heartbeat, that he's right there. So, I decided to get a little bit lower. So that, you know, they don't exactly know where my position is. And I think in a second, he actually gets headshotted by a sniper. And this is a very sneaky play. Because as you can hear, he just revived himself with a self-revive. And I managed to one-shot him because he's very uh, low on health, obviously. So now it's only four people alive, and look at this. Getting stuck. Oh, that's so annoying. Getting shot, actually. He completely misses it. I managed to turn on him pretty quickly. I managed to down him. Pretty nice if I say so myself. Then I miss all my shots in trying to finish him off. His teammate is actually trying to kill me, but, you know, I'm still doing my thing. He gets, he dies, and now I can actually see that the guy who was shooting me just now is actually getting pushed by the storm. He died by one guy, and now it's a 1v1 situation. I know the guy is somewhere over there, and I think I'll pull out the uh, heartbeat sensor in a minute to know for sure. Yeah, he's right in front of me in that tree, on that tree somewhere over there, yeah, right there. So, I don't think I can get a snipe on him. Instead, I actually push a little bit to the left. Which is a little bit risky because now the enemy has a slight advantage because he's a little bit on high ground. But nevertheless, I still manage to uh, catch him off guard. He tries a desperate attempt to stick me with a thermite. And luckily, I did manage to get a win in that 1v1 situation. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This was my first win in over, I don't know, a couple of months at least. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, I see you guys next time.